Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with poor corruption. But on today's video, I'm going to make use of this strategy again. But on this video, I'm going to be using it on 30 second candle time frame. Alright. And do not forget that we are doing this on Henneke Ashi candlestick as well. Um, the reason why I'm doing it with 30 second candle time frame is the fact that I got to realize that the 30 second candle time frame works very powerful on OTC market because today I'll be trading on OTC market. So do not forget I'm doing this with 30 second candle time frame. Of course, I'm still using the two minute, all right? It's two minutes straight time and 30 second candle time frame. So over here, we're using just two indicators. The first indicator is, is called Vortex and the second indicator is MACD. All right, so now Vortex, we have it as period of 21. On the start part here, I make sure I tick the bot line here, the green and the red. And that's all you have to do when you're done, you hit save. So the second indicator is MACD, come with the first period of 12, the slow period is 26, while the signal period is 9. On the start part here, I make sure I take my MACD and signal line here to be on 2 pixel each. Alright, so that's pretty much all you have to do when you're done, you hit save. So how this strategy works is very simple. Alright, and of course I'll be, I was going to explain it in details when I enter a trade. And do not forget that we are doing this with all to say. All right, 30 second candle time frame with all to say. It's very important. So right now I've been analyzing the market. So when I get a good moment, I'm going to come down and enter a trade. Of course, I'm going to explain in details how the strategy work when I enter a trade. All right. Okay, guys, over here, I'm finding a good moment. I'm going to enter a trade on that. Um, how this strategy work is a very simple one. Um, if you actually recall on my last video, I actually make mention of two methods with this strategy. The first method is the fact that you only need to confirm your voters with green line. What the second method is to confirm it with the boot, uh, what's it called, vortex line. But with this method, all you just have to need is to make sure that you are having your MSCD boot line intersect. And not only that, always make sure that the boot line intersect in a very strong oversold position. After the intersection, make sure that the boot line is giving you a very strong uptrend confirmation before you enter a trade. The same thing applicable with our Vortex Green Line. Our Vortex Green Line needs to be giving us a very strong uptrend as well. As you can see right here, the Green Line here is actually giving us a very strong uptrend. When that happens, make sure that your MSD signal line it intersect in a very strong oversold position and the boat line is actually giving you a strong uptrend as well. All right. And not only that, before you enter a trade, always make sure that you are confirming the candlestick you're placing your trade on. I make mention of this on the last video. Make sure that you're having at least three or four candlesticks giving you a strong uptrend confirmation before you enter a trade. It's very important. Do not place your trade on a choppy candle like this. Or like this always make sure that you're confirming a very strong stable candlestick before you enter a trade it's very important guys all right and do not forget we are doing this with two minutes it's very important we do we need to give it enough time all right all right it's a very close one there we don't need that over here the candles start waking out the most important is for you to always make sure that you're confirming three candlestick all right three strong candlestick before you play a trade it's very important a good one there guys win the money on that let's keep analyzing so when i get another good moment i'm gonna come down and enter a trade okay guys over here i'm finding a moment i'm going to enter a trade on this real quick so as you can see right here we have a very strong downtrend confirmation so that's the reason why i actually go for a downtrade you can see right here that our vortex actually gave us the green line is actually confirming a very strong downtrend and when you check our msd right here you see that our msc intersect in the very strong overbought position to so make sure that the intersection happen in a very strong overbought position if you're going for a downtrade and make sure that the boot line is giving you a very strong downtrend it is very important the same thing applicable with your vortex make sure that your vortex line is confirming a downtrend confirmation before you enter a trade the vortex line boot line is to intersect all right but the green line is to be giving you a very strong downtrend before you go for a down trade is very important and not only that always make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on the last few candlestick you're placing your trade on is a very strong and a stable candlestick do not enter a trade when you're having a choppy or dodgy candlestick it's very important guys all right i hope you understand so let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one we have less than 32 seconds to close this trade let's wait and see if it's going to be a good one in the next few seconds all right all right guys we have less than three seconds 
a good one here guys we're in the money on that so guys i hope you actually understand how this work right now all right keep analyzing all right guys over here i'm finding the moment but i'm not going to enter the trade yet because this particular candlestick here hasn't given me that kind of a strong confirmation so let's wait and see okay i'm getting the confirmation right there all right good one here guys i'm going to place a trade on that real quick as you can see uh, right here the last um, four candlesticks is a very strong one giving us a very strong downtrend confirmation like i just said always make sure that you're placing your trade on a very strong candlestick all right each time you're going for a downtrade always make sure that the candle you're placing your trade on is below the rest candlestick that has generated all right it's something applicable if we are going for an up trade all right as you can see here our vortex line is giving us a very strong downtrend there's something applicable with our MSCD, the bootline intersect in this position and we've been having a very strong downtrend ever since it's a very perfect moment so that's the reason why i place the trade we have like a minute and 15 seconds left so guys let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one in the next few seconds all right all right guys we have like um four seconds left right now a good one there guys we end the money on that that's actually a very powerful one so guys i hope you actually uh, understand i hope you're following i'm um, always make sure that before you enter a trade always make sure that your candlestick is actually in a very good position they are very stable coming down on a downtrend all right and the second thing is to make sure that your vertex um green line intersect like crosses over the red and they are giving you and it's giving you a very strong downtrend there's something applicable with your MSD, your MSD needs to intersect in a very strong either overbought or oversold position and the lines the boat line is to be giving you a very strong downtrend before you enter a trade i hope that is clear a good one there guys win the money on that keep analyzing okay guys i'm checking this out but i'm not i'm um, taking the trade yet i'm actually waiting for the next candlestick you can see that our MSD just intersect right there okay that's actually a good one here but I want to confirm this candlestick before I place a trade. All right. Okay, a good one here. I can go ahead and place my trade. You can see that right here, our MSD just intersect, and it's actually a very good one because when your MSD just intersect and just about going down in the trend, it means that the trend just start out. All right. It means that the trend is just about moving so that's the reason why i place the trade but before you place such trade always make sure that you're confirming the candlestick you're placing the trade on because it's very tricky if your msd is just starting out just intersecting and about to move um don't place a trade on a doji candle because there might be a reversal any moment always make sure that you're placing the trade on a very strong candlestick and not only that make sure that the confirmation of your last three candlestick is there all right so make sure that the last three candlestick give you a trend confirmation either uptrend or downtrend before you enter a trade but the most important thing is to always make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on you confirm it to be a strong candlestick than the rest of the one that's been generated i hope you understand it's very important but you're going to get a very strong signal when your msd is just start out they just intersect and just starting coming down in the trend you're definitely going to get a strong signal but at the same time there might be a reversal the only way you can actually get that depend on the candlestick you're placing your trade on it's very important that you're only placing the trade on when the candlestick is strong and confirm the downtrend if you're going for a downtrade i hope you understand a good one here guys we're less than um, 30 seconds to close this trade so let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one in the next few seconds all right guys a good one here we're in the moon and that is actually a very powerful one we analyzing again all right okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment i'm going to enter this trade uh, real quick so as you can see right here um, we have a very strong confirmation with our vertex green line there and the same thing applicable with our msd the bot line intersect right here and they have been giving us an uptrend confirmation and if you actually check you see that the last three candlestick here it actually confirmed a very strong uptrend so that's the reason why i placed this trade all right so guys if you actually study all my trade you can see that i always make sure that i place my trade on a very strong candlestick and not only that i make sure that i wait to have at least three candlestick confirmation of the trend before i enter the trade all right so do not enter your trade on uh, on a weak candlestick like this like a dodgy candlestick like this no do not enter the trade 
and as a matter of fact do not even enter the trade until you have at least three or four candlesticks giving you a strong confirmation of the trend before you enter a trade is very important it's very important guys so guys let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one we have like a 42 seconds right now let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one in the next few seconds all right okay guys we have less than three seconds all right a good one there guys we end the money on that that's a very close one the candlestick right here actually reverse well we end up in the money before it actually drops. that's a good one guys keep analyzing okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment so i'm going to enter this trade um real quick as you can see right here this is actually a very powerful downtrend and when you check our vortex right here you see that we have a very confirmation a very strong confirmation with our green line right there there's something applicable with our MSD, the board line intersect right in this position and they're actually giving us a very strong downtrend it's a very good one so that's the reason why i play the trade so guys um by now i hope you should understand because this is going to be the last time i'm going to uh, trade with this strategy by now you should understand how this works it's very important that you understand Always make sure that you're studying the candlestick, like three candlestick. Make sure that the last three candlestick is very strong and at the same time very stable, giving you a downtrend confirmation. All right, the candlestick that you're placing your trade on must be stronger than the rest few candlestick that generated. Not only that, make sure that your vertex is giving your vertex line is giving you a very strong downtrend. The vertex line should knock off, should it should give you a very straight downtrend confirmation. And at the same time, make sure that your MSD bot line intersect in a very strong either overbought or oversold position. And the bot line is giving you a downtrend before you enter a trade. It's a very simple strategy if you follow the rules. Like I said earlier on, it works very powerful with um, 30 second candle time frame on OTC market. And with one minute candle time frame with real market. I hope you understand. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. We have less than 23 seconds right now to close the trade. So let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one in the next few seconds. All right, guys, we have less than two seconds right now. A good one here, guys. So guys, this is where I'm going to stop onto this trade. I actually um, take this balance from $270 to over $1,870. Eight dollar right there is actually a very powerful one so guys i hope you actually understand how this work now please make sure that you follow all the rules the regulation on this video and if you don't understand any part of the trade make sure that you watch the video or you can actually leave a comment on the comment section and of course i'm going to get back to you and explain to you uh, what i mean in any of the uh what's it called trade that you did not understand so guys if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video